Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. Sorry, I have I just realized I have food all over my shirt. But uh <laughs> welcome to your reading for um November 28th through December 4th, your weekly reading. We're going to do your general energy and then um focus on love and money and career just for this week. So, Aries, let's see what we got for you. Go the distance. It actually came up in reverse, but I wanted you to see it. And never ending story. This is this week you're gonna feel a little bit tired of putting all the work in. Um, and then there's this realization that you have to keep going. You know, it's not something that you know, the struggle doesn't end, life doesn't end, troubles don't end, you know, like you have to keep dealing with things. It kind of feels trite to me, like you're tired of paying bills and then or you're tired of doing something at work and you're like, oh, when when will be a time when I don't have to do that? But you'll always have to pay bills. You'll always have to go to work, that type of thing. Uh, that's what it feels like to me, you know. So seven of swords in reverse, seven of wands in reverse, and the page of cups all in reverse. Yeah, don't don't self deceive yourself. Okay, so don't pity. I wanted to say pity party, but I didn't because I, I hate saying that to people. But this week, don't throw a pity party for yourself, even if you want to. I feel like um, you're a little bit like critical this week about things and about situations, maybe because a relationship you had just uh, someone's pulling back and it's making you feel some type of way. Um, but but I just feel like don't throw a pity party for yourself this week is the general energy. OK, don't forget all the hard work that you put in. Don't. Don't let that be hindered by you feeling like a victim or turning yourself into a victim. Okay. Okay. So in love, we have Knight of Sword. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, Knight of Knight of Cups in reverse. Ten of Pentacles and the Sun. Let go of control issues, trust, finances, and career. It looks like money, money and career is an issue in your relationship this week. Uh, maybe you don't have time for each other. If you lent someone some money, I feel like it's a negative experience. I'm going to be honest. Um... It almost feels like uh, someone is dealing with things with money, like you lent money or you need money. They didn't give it to you or they're not repaying you. It's something really complicated like that if it has to do with money or you just don't have time for each other. But let go of control issues and trust. Um, it feels like there's someone who... You don't feel like you can trust this person, but I feel like there's a reason why. This isn't coming out of anywhere, okay? Um, maybe they got a lot of things going on in their life that's surrounding their money and their career. But there's a reason why you feel like you can't trust them. So I feel like you're starting to pull back a little bit. Uh, it's more of you doing like self-preservation, you know, you're considering how much you're sacrificing to this person, especially if you gave them money or they're um, distancing themselves from you. But you're really rethinking like how much 
care you're giving them. I feel like you at one point you were really excited about this person or excited about this relationship. Yeah, something is coming to light for you. You're seeing something. Um, it's like you're seeing something. But what's interesting about this energy, Aries, and I want to pull some more cards. I don't feel like this is a bad person. I feel like you're pulling back because you're starting. You may not be ready for what this person's bringing into your life. It's almost like a fear of commitment or a fear of what the next step is going to be. Interesting. Yeah. Um, something's throwing you off balance. And it has something to do with their stability. It could be their money situation, their home situation, their career situation. But something is throwing you off. Something doesn't fit. And you don't trust that it's going to fit. So what's interesting is I feel like this person has the best intentions. But something is coming to your attention when it comes to the future of the relationship. That's what it is. Yeah. Okay. And then money and career. Oh. Changed in the night. You've changed a lot when it comes to work and budgeting and stuff like that. Follow your own good advice. Yeah. Um you're doing really well when it comes to your money and career. I feel like you're taking things very seriously in that avenue of your life. And you've changed and you notice that the way you feel about maybe your finances or even your career has changed as well. Um, yeah. Lots of opportunities for good things. Um coming your way oh absolutely six of wands hermit in reverse and then the two of swords and the set and the page of swords wanted to come out together yeah people are really paying attention to how well you're doing you're doing very well um you're bringing a lot of attention to yourself like people are seeing how good you're doing at work um, they really are seeing you and you, you're going to get a lot of praises this week as well because of it. Um, I feel like you don't need to let nagging or negative comments or even comments to yourself, um, change your mind. Okay. This is, this is very much like believe in yourself and don't let negative talk or negative thinking interrupt what it is that you're doing. Don't let it block you, you know? Um, the hermit in reverse is like you have to let it go, you know? Um, you need to reconnect with the good things people are saying or the good things you're doing or the good things that you're accomplishing. So don't let small... Um, gossip or small little thinking small thinking negative thinking stop you because you're doing very well okay all right i love you aries talk to you later bye, -bye.